What's going on Steelers Nation? Welcome back to another video. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe, but let's get right into it. Omar Khan needs to make one of these moves as soon as possible while they are still out there. One of the main guys, Ndamukong Sue. I know he's a little bit older, but came off a pretty good season last year. He had seven sacks last season, uh, or six sacks last season, but either way, still a dominant force. Um, I've never really liked the guy personally, but he definitely has matured. His game is still good. I think he could be a pretty solid replacement for Tuit, at least for a season anyway, just to have a nice veteran defensive lineman uh, with with Cam and everybody else there. So I think that would be a uh, a good person to to have there uh, to replace Tuit, as well as Larry Agunjabi, uh, who recently played with Cincinnati. He had seven sacks last season. Um, pretty solid on the defensive line. I know Steelers fans know him most likely for... Um, him hitting Mason or pushing Mason Rudolph after the whole incident between him and Miles Garrett uh, back when he was with Cleveland. But again, pretty dominant force. Uh, he was good on the, uh, Cincinnati's defensive line last year. Um, again, but he's a lot younger. Uh, he was getting paid six point two million last year. So again, I think somewhere around similar numbers. Um, but I, I think Omar Khan needs to make one of those a priority. I think definitely for our defensive line. Just for more of a rotation. Of course, we're not forgetting about Alu Alu, uh, Lille, who we uh, we drafted as well, too. So And Wormley. I mean, our defensive line is pretty good, but I think they just need to have more of that depth, for sure. Um, so those are my two guys right now I think the Steelers need to consider uh, signing throughout free agency. The Steelers have about $20 million in cap after the retirement. So who do you think? Are these good decisions or no? Decide down in the comments. Here we go, Steelers.